So what's happening with F1 visa interviews in the month of April? Why are there so many rejections? And all the recent trends and updates that you need to know. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you will find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. This is the F1 Qual 22 series and this is I think the third or the fourth video in this series. So make sure that you subscribe, you press the bell icon and you do follow the series because this is going to help you massively in your F1 visa interview preparation. So about three weeks ago, we saw a big update from the US Embassy in India which said that more priority will be given to students who are appearing for the F1 visa interview for the first time in 2022. And it also said that if you had a previous refusal, rather if you have a previous refusal, you will not be able to give the interview again in 2022. Now, it's been about three weeks since then. Post this news, we've been tracking the availability of slots, the interview experiences, as well as the acceptance and the rejection rate of all the students who had a previous refusal and who appeared for the interview in the year 2022. So purely based on this data, there are some insights that I would like to share with you in this video. So keep on watching and also do watch to the end because I'm going to share three really important questions that you need to be thoroughly prepared with if you have a previous refusal. So let's get started. So first, let's start with the availability of slots. Now, when the news update came, there was a lot of speculation that if you have a previous refusal, you will not be able to see any slots in your system. Your system will get locked, it'll get blocked, or if you've even booked an appointment, it'll get cancelled. But so far, none of this has happened. Touch one. So as of now, people who have a previous refusal are still able to book slots. They are still able to get appointment and quite a few of them have even appeared for their interview. Now, we don't know if this will change, if uh, things will change in the system in the coming few days or weeks but the situation as of now is that even if you have a previous refusal in 2022 you're still able to book and get an interview slot the second update is about the approval rate and this is a major one and this is where the crux of the issue is so the rejection rate has been at an all-time high in the month of April. We saw a record number of rejections happening. Even students who are really well prepared, who had a good profile, who were able to answer decently in the interview, also faced a F1 visa rejection. So many of the interviews went something like this, the one that you can see on the screen right now. So the first question being asked to her is, are you appearing for the interview again? And she answers, yes. Then he asks her, so you changed your university and why? So she's able to explain it, give valid reasons why she's changed the university and he also seems to be okay with her answer. And then she's asked questions about her course, about her subjects, which also she is able to explain. But at the end of it, the VO just says, I can't approve your visa, do apply again. So a lot of interview experiences, in fact, followed this particular pattern with it starting with asking the candidate whether they were applying again after a rejection and then two to three questions and at the end of it, the visa is not approved. To share another interview experience with you, we have another interview here, which you can see on the screen. So this candidate also appeared for the interview for the second time. And here also pretty straightforward questions are being asked. He has, he seems to have answered it. Of course, we don't know the other side of the story. We don't know about the body language, the eye contact, the confidence, the fluency, but at least the transcript of the interview experience seems to be okay. So, so if you're still here, still watching this video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you do faced a similar experience where you faced a rejection, even though your interview went quite well, then do comment below and let me know. Now, this video is not all about the bad news, the gloomy stuff. There is also some positive experiences that I want to share with you. So there were also interviews in the month of April where even with a previous rejection, the visa was given, the visa was approved. And one such experience is what you can see on the screen right now. So here the candidate was first asked, do you have a previous rejection and have you faced, have you changed anything since the previous rejection? And he seems to have explained really well. So this is actually a student who worked with us and we helped him structure these answers, prepare for the interview. And you can see that how clearly he explained the change that he made in his profile since the last rejection. And the VO seems to be satisfied with his answer and she moves on to other points about his profile, such as funding, future plans, why this academy. And of course, the student was well prepared and he was able to answer it. So. With this experience, I do want to highlight that there is still hope. It's not 
all about rejections it's not all dark and gloomy things so if you do get a chance to give the interview again please be really well prepared and make sure that you put in your best so any more updates we'll be bringing right here on this channel so make sure that you subscribe press the bell icon and don't miss out on any of these videos now as promised at the end of the video i want to share three important questions that you need to be really well prepared if you have a previous rejection the first one is there any change in your profile since the last rejection the second one if you've changed this university then why why did you change the university and third one tell me about your course tell me the first semester subjects tell me the subjects related to your specialization so these are must prepare questions in addition to the other f1 questions so we have a f1 visa question bank it's a free pdf the link is in the description box below make sure that you download that pdf and prepare for all the questions that are mentioned in there so if you are appearing for the interview after a previous rejection make sure that your interview is foolproof you are thoroughly prepared and focus on both sides of the preparation the content of the answer and also the delivery and the confidence part of it if you would like my help in your preparation do reach out for a one to one session or for a mock interview the details of both of these is mentioned in the description box below tons of students have taken this one to one and mock session with us and it has been extremely beneficial for the fall 22 intake we also have a 7 day program and this is a very structured 7 day course to make sure that end to end prep is done for you and this will again get you absolutely ready for the visa interview so detail of all of this good stuff is in the description box below so that's all for this video i hope this video has helped you the purpose of this video is not to demotivate you scare you put you on a back foot but the purpose of the video is to make you aware i really really feel that awareness is important when you are appearing for such a important process it's important to be aware to be in tune with what are the trends what are the updates in the f1 visa process so i really hope that this has helped you in that so we'll also be bringing all the updates the latest news on this channel so make sure that you subscribe you press the bell icon and you stay tuned more useful content coming up in the f1 visa series so make sure that you don't miss out on any of this signing off for now if you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below You can also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shachi.mal. Signing off for now. I'll see you in the next one.